For five Melbourne schoolboys, the question, what did you do on your holidays, will prompt an incredible answer when they return to school in the next couple of days. They didn't spend their break lazing at the beach or playing cricket in the park. They were in London, racing a Formula One car they'd designed from scratch. What's more, that design, a tiny version of the real thing, has now won them an international competition and more than a million dollars worth of engineering scholarships. Mick Bunworth reports. It's lean, it's mean, it's an excitement machine, even if it is just 30 centimetres long and made of balsa wood. So I said, I'm on a roll, so I need a car. The model car, powered by a soda bowl and able to reach 100 kilometres an hour in just two seconds, is Australia's latest world champion. And when its designers, five 13 and 14 year olds from Melbourne's Trinity Grammar School, head back to class this week, they'll have quite a story about what they did on their holidays. Just before we went, we really just noticed that, wow, we're going to the, we're going to the internationals. It's a big, really big thing. In early January, the boys travelled to the UK to compete in the final of an international Formula One design competition. Whoa. Four o'clock in the morning, we get a phone call, and basically on the other end, the kids are going, we won, we won. Mm -hmm. And so it was very exciting, and we said, but what did you win? No, we've won. We're the champions of the world, Mum. They're playing it. We are the champions of the world. The boys designed their car using the same cutting-edge software employed in the design of the newly launched A380 Airbus. The car then came to life via a computer-driven lathe. It goes from paper and measurements from angles and also what, what exactly we want to achieve, what's going to be different to other cars, like different principles, aerodynamics. You need to think about streamlining and um, we took into account some uh, physical prim principles, like Bernoulli's principle. And things. Can you, I mean, yeah. I know that, but the viewers don't. What is that principle? Uh, it's uh, to do with aerofoils uh, and pressure differences. The software was provided by the non profit Reengineering Australia Forum. Well, it was in response to skill shortages, specifically in the areas of engineering and manufacturing. Um, industry in Australia want to grow, but they can't see young people coming through. And REA's main mission is to get young people excited about careers in those areas. Creating but also, I reckon it's environmental frequencies. No, I don't know. One of the things that kids really respond to is realism in their studies. And uh, it's made it very, very exciting. And, and they've picked up the cudgel and they've worked with it. And uh, they've achieved something which we never really believed they would achieve in the out, uh, at the outset. Um, maybe we but achieve they have. All five boys have won engineering scholarships to London City University a prize with a combined value of more than a million dollars. Now all they need to do is pass their VCE in five years' time. Well, they've got to choose in the end, I think, to take, that, take up that offer. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, it would be an experience that they shouldn't miss, really. Seeing students uh, exchanging business cards with, with important, uh, powerful people uh, is just uh, amazing. And if these child geniuses appear intimidating, they are. They seem somewhat bolder, having mastered adult technology known as CARTIA, which as we all probably know is the acronym for computer-aided three-dimensional interactive application. It's cool. Uh, what I want to do is uh, get a certification for CARTIA Go to a convention and kind of piss off all the adults. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at me. Look well, at we me. got a free, <laughs> free voucher to be certified, so we've just got to get a few more skills, just work on it, and then we'll, we'll do it and, yeah, piss off the adults. I'll be the, I'll be the youngest certified Katia user in the world. That is if you pass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Perhaps the hardest thing for these boys will be returning to school life having already tasted celebrity.
Oh, it was pretty cool. In the end, in the end of the plane trip, we got to up, up, we got upgraded to business for an hour. Yeah, isn't it, guys? The pilot heard how and cool he we said... were. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're allowed to be a tiny bit boastful uh, for the moment, at least. Mick Bunworth with that report, and that's the program for tonight. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow. But for now, good night. <laughs>